Well, it, it you know it's it's been different. There's no doubt. We've we've had to uh, make some changes in hiring and doing some things there. So I spent a lot of my time uh, with the guys on offense. You know, the last five years I've been on the defensive side of things. My voice has been on the defensive side of things. Uh, and now being in charge of the whole program, that was the biggest part. You know, we had to make some changes and do some things. And me being on the offensive side through spring practice, coaching over there as well as uh, here in fall camp, you know, that's the biggest change, I think. You know, just spending more time with those kids. I needed to get to know those kids better on the offensive side. You know, we needed to um, come up with a roster that we felt comfortable about and, and bringing in the right guys that we feel that uh, are, are what Angelo State's about and what we have our vision to be. So the biggest part of it was just uh, the transition of trying to get the roster correct and then, you know, the, the uh, coaching staff hired and, and, and that part of it has been the biggest part. You know, there's no doubt I'm spending as much time as I can out in the field with those kids and, and doing that part of it. You know, it's a, it's a demanding position, but at the same time, it's so rewarding because uh, uh, the kids just make it that way. The players do. You know, they've gone out and practiced hard and done things that we've asked them to do. Uh, you know, the biggest part about becoming a head coach, in my opinion, is, is getting great people around you and letting them go to work. You know, and, and, and we've hired well here. We've got great people that are bought in. So I'm really, really comfortable in those guys getting a lot of that coaching done as well as uh, me jumping in when I can on it. Absolutely, you know, and, and even more so because I'm coaching on the offensive side, you know, watching that and, and rooting for the offensive side of things, you know, compared to what I've done in the past. But, uh, you know, again, it falls back to great hiring. But, yeah, it's hard. You know, I've spent 11 years as a defensive coordinator. My last 11 years coaching has been defense. And, um, you know, so definitely, yeah, it's been a transition for sure. Yeah, you know, I think the biggest thing that I can bring to the table offensively for our guys are, you know, I can tell, hey, this is what they're trying to do defensively to you. This is what they're doing to uh, to cause you problems, and here's what causes the defense's problems. So, you know, that's the biggest part of it. I, I truly believe a coach that has coached both sides of the ball um, over their years in coaching can benefit huge on the other side of the ball just because, you know, yeah, my, my most of my time has been on defense, but I can take that defensive philosophies and stuff that I've learned over the time and help with offense to – and, you know, show them what hurts them and that kind of thing. Well, it's been hot, there's no doubt, but it's hot everywhere, you know, and, and, and we talk to our kids all the time about hydration, talk to our kids all the time about their preparation leading into camp, and, th and they've done a great job with that. So it's been good. We've been going in the mornings um, at 9 o'clock in the morning and getting our work done and then spending that rest of that day, you know, uh, watching film, getting in the weight room, you know, meetings and all that kind of thing to – to get um, where we need to be because we're not there yet. You know, we got a lot of work to do before September 5th in that first game when Western Oregon comes to town. And, and uh, there's a lot of things that we got to work on. So, you know, what I've challenged these kids, you know, through camp is to be a football junkie. You know, this is your time where you don't have classes going on, you don't have meetings, you don't have, you know, work and that kind of thing going on. This is your football camp. And these guys have bought into that and have done a great job. The coaches have bought into it to get these kids prepared. So they're spending a lot of time with us. You know, not you know the hours on the on the football field is one of it, but the meetings and the you know watching film and preparation, it's been great through camp. All right. It's just going to be getting on the field again, you know, um, getting our these guys on the football field and and letting them see how the, the excitement of just getting back out there, all the hard work through the off season and summer and then now camp, you know, all of it leads to one thing, and that's September fifth, you know, and. Uh, that's one of it. The other thing is the fans, you know, getting people excited in the fan, in the, in the stadium again. Uh, you know, Ram Jam's great. We're going to have all the people over there for an unbelievable concert and all that type of thing. But the at the end of the day, at 6 o'clock when it's kickoff time, you know, we need to get those people in the seats over at uh, the stadium and get that place rocking and, 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 and great and putting a, a good show on for those, those people, a great product on the football field. And that's something I think you'll see.